Hello and welcome everyone, La Hart here with part 18 of the Alba Let's Play of Total War Saga Thrones of Britannia. We continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions, all greatly appreciated, do keep them coming. So just going through the end turn phase as we'd finished everything else we need to do at the end of the last episode and watching the Danelaw sail north towards us. Sailing towards Bebenbur. Just finished uh, Season 3 of Last Kingdom. Really enjoyed it. What do you guys think? In fact, uh, very quickly, here's my my best Uhtred impression. I am Uhtred of Bebenbar, Lord. Lord King. I will fight for you and Edward for Bebenbar. So let me know what you thought of the impression. Maybe it sounded better to me than it does to you guys in the actual recording. Uh, but if it does sound good, feel free to uh, let me know any uh, any outred phrases you'd like me to try and say. I guess I should have said, destiny is all. Or something like that, perhaps. I don't know. Anyway, yeah, enjoy season three. I'm assuming there's a season four to come. Uh, looks like it's set up for even more action. What have we got going on here though? Blackmail, 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 lower influence, oh, vengeful, uh, pay him off. I'll have to take the hit. Fake fealty. Yes, um, I need to bend him to my will. By securing his loyalty good and proper. There we go. Did actually go up good. Right, what have we got here? General. Ah, yes. He is also my brother, is he not? Yes, because we've got him a beautiful wife. Um, let me just check, though. Yes. Uh, we have an heir. Good. And I assume a spare. Right, let's pop him in a quartermaster. And who else? Governor, governor, governor. Scribe. Oh, wait, it's the guy that was disloyal. You know what? I'm going to give you... Priest and faction allegiance first. Will bend the knee and serve me. Serve me well. Are you guys saying I should have been careful about destroying the blacksmith because I was getting some good tier 3 weapons? That is true, yes. I probably shouldn't have just got rid of that as I did, but. Oopsie. Um, we have farming income, agricultural yet farming income, and we have industry, so anything for industry and farming. Fur production, yeah, we could have more fur production for the tanner. Uh, we don't have any commerce here at all. Income from port buildings, we do have a port here. Food production from port building chains it makes kind of the most sense, I guess. Um... This farming income there and food produced, tradable resources from industry villages in your province. Oh, that makes sense actually as well. Fur production. Yeah, we'll pop in the water mill actually then. Can't remember if I was going to put something else in instead, but oops. You guys are replenishing. We want more cavalry in here though when some is available. We can just merge up some of those arches. But none are yet. We don't want to face these guys on the sea. I wouldn't have thought of the Dane Law. Are they. Do they get seasickness or not? I don't know, but yeah, if I can help it, I'd uh, I'd rather not fight them on the sea. Then if actually I should sit in Coldingham in case they go further on up. Bebember has a garrison. In fact, I'm going to pull you guys back to Coldingham. And you guys go in Bebember. Hold it better now. The king is going to take... Uh, Garum and Occupy may draw some of their fleets towards him, in which case we'll probably have to pull back. I've obviously just gained a an estate here, haven't I? Yes, I have. Uh, and we can siege Carlisle, which apparently is a is a toughie. N oh, night attack makes it um, much more enough. You know what? Let's. Oh, it's oh because there's garrison there. Oh, that stops the. That stop them coming in. Cannot reinforce. Oh, where are they? Are they hidden? Are they hidden just outside? Um, I kind of would rather face all of them because then I can kill them all. Okay, so we won't night battle it. We'll just go in as we are then. 
Just go in as we are. Towers to claim the walls. Right. Uh, wait, please. Have a dry day. Fancy fighting in the rain. I know I normally just go with what I'm given, but we'll uh, dive on in today. Axeman to claim the walls. Actually, I probably want my swordsman on here, don't I? At least goes 51. So, yeah, no, we definitely want king's blades. I know they're... Even my regular swords are 56. Kingsblade should still be fine because I should absolutely cut through anyone they come up against. You guys go over there. And you guys go there. Once you claim the walls, you'll have to take the gate and move up our, our other troops. I assume their reinforcement is going to come in from over here. Which we... Oh, we can actually... Could try coming in from here. That tower's damaged as well. I imagine their reinforcement is coming from here? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. Let's, um... Go in from here, then. In case uh, we can take out their reinforcements as well. No, seriously, the reinforcements come in from that side now. The enemy tremble before our superior numbers. God damn it. The enemy has reinforcements. Swordsman. Attack. Annihilate them. Hit hard. Strike now. Annihilate them. Javelins. What's that tower going for him? Moving forward my missile troops. Spears, axes. And I could try riding round to take out their other forces, but nah, we'll just meet them in the middle. So we've claimed this side. They've got Welsh swordsmen. Levy axes, Welsh archers. Roman. It will happen. Triple speed. Hours having a little bit of a logistics issue. spears and skirmishers so we can fire at them. Ooh, they might burn that one down if we're not careful. Straightforward. I think they should be fine though. Just made it. The rimples have just made it through to that gate. Fire on 
power to make it to the walls. Pulling these guys back. I was hoping they would focus on them, but these guys end up moving up first. And we're going to need them later on. is forward. Take him down. take them off the walls just yet. Secure all of it. in the gate. Just going to get ready in case they charge out. Hit him in the rear. And now we're capturing it. So we can neutralize it, then we can go in the gate. So troops can move back on in. I've got those reinforcements around their capture point now, but that's fine. I wanted to draw them all in to die anyway. Down. 
Now the spears to charge on through. Some of them are coming up to the walls to us. Nice. That's not going to be good, burning all of my troops. Right, you guys hold back here for now. Right, we're flanking them. Oh no, that's they brought their reinforcements through here. Because they're nearly all gone. Unless I still got one watching the flag. 102. The enemy general is dead! Some over there. Forceful charge. That'll do it. Old man Riggan does it once more. Victory is ours. Lovely. 414 lost. I have 100 remaining, supposedly. Any of their reinforcements, perhaps? They might still wander on off, but they're no longer enough to pose a real threat. And shall be dispatched. Next turn. I don't know how they managed to get behind the other way, because, they, yeah, they were there, so I formed up on the bridge. Confused much? 
Uh, church income. Oh, yes. That is income from church and more. White Church of St. Ringan. So, yeah, we'll keep that then. I can't afford to repair. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. We need the tavern. Commerce. Uh, and yes, you're the market fair. Yeah, these are the ones that can really earn you a nice fortune. It'll be full of yellow buildings. And bonuses for church. Um, right, we need to dish out some estates. Have I got any that aren't agricultural that I can do? Uh, three agricultural. I've got one noble, which benefits me the most. Could give away the noble estate. The agricultural ones also give me... Well, no, they cost me money if I give them away. They don't give me anything. Let's give away the noble estate, then. It's Riggan, is he, that's upset? Oh, he's gone down to eight. Ooh. No, that holds fine. Don't have enough money to hold a feast, so it'll have to do. Uh, governors we can assign, yes, but not yet. Not until I can trust them all. They're sailing that way. No one's making a move towards... Well, they... Hmm. They could all sail on in, actually. That 18, can this 19 get in close as well? Don't you think so. Don't think so. My warriors are on parallel. This can't go to Bevenbur. But I think a king should get some reinforcement. So you guys will move down to Bevenbur. Let's turn. Because no. yeah, those guys can't move in now. Never. Good. Right, let's end the turn. Sailing closely. We'll move in for the king. Next turn, I'd imagine. I don't want to meet them out on the sea. In case they're stronger. But be careful of that one going up there. We'll have to sail out and take them down. Otherwise they're going to go up to our northern territories and cause all sorts of issues. Plus 15% range for all missile infantry units, all armies. 5% upkeep cost for missile units and recruitment cost. Okay. Fisherman and um, barely loyal traits gain. Oh dear. Desires more states than the faction leader. Okay. We're going to have to go here. I'll have to see where you guys go next turn and then raise an army to meet it. They're going to send in a 9 and a 19 against the king. Our every foe shall fall. They're not at full strength, but do I really want to face off against the Risking the king in a minor settlement. We are eager for glory. None shall stand against us. We can't. And these guys move down as well. No. Close to the coast, but don't know if they could. I'm you gonna I'm gonna pull back towards I this am. army. Start digging in here. Let them take it and then I'll move back on in, I think. Don't know how strong they're gonna be. Well they've stayed where they are, so they're ready to die. Oh they've got another no, no well, the settlement, even. That I did not realize. Heading for glory. Gales forever. Can't take till next turn. Commerce income, so we want that upgraded. That does income from commerce, local tin. Don't have any tin. Gives Trade just gives more. Ale House gives us a fair bit more as well. Mint, obviously. And the Merchant. Yeah, so we're going to want... 
Uh, we've already, yeah, we've already got the mint going through there. We're going to want the tavern, though, because we need trade. We need market hall. Upgrade the market hall, the highest building. So we've got to upgrade this. So that being the case, let's get that going first. Then we'll pop the other bits and pieces in. All at Bed and Burke. And was that everything we need to do? We've got it. What's Bond? Okie dokie. Let's see what Dane Lord does. They do. Where will they choose to come ashore? Yeah, so it was definitely right of me to pull the king back because they could have brought that 18 stack along with the 9 stack and the 9 stack would have been overrun. We'd have lost Corsantin. But now we can strike back as they're withdrawing their reinforcements. The fools. You're going way off that way. Okay, so I need to keep an eye on it. But I'm not going to chase it with an army. That's just silly. We'll wait until it nearly comes ashore. Then we'll muster a force. Merge it and try and deal with it. I was meaning to check my research. Resourceful. We're going through to get the upgrades. Yes. Time sharpshooters for archers and lowland crossbowmen replace Albert crossbowmen. Can't be done. For the glory of the gales. Ready and willing. Pull both of them in, probably. Just the king can deal with them. Yeah, not order resolvable. Um, Kill them all. You guys are nearly replenished, nearly ready. Unfortunately, there's still no cavalry. There's there's Alban raiders we can go for. So now we'll keep that. Ember is nearly replenished. Maybe if I pull back, it'll draw some of them or move down. It'll pull some more to it. We can always send some more troops over. Oh, there is a mine, so that one would be a, a good one to have in there, too. Keep on upgrading all of them. Yeah. Cumberland could uh, become quite a nice uh, income earner for us. You can count on us. Means you guys can keep moving down here. Alright, let's uh, have another battle and I'll probably wrap things up. Want to go through another end turn? Valkyrie's chosen. Has a lot of archers, and we know he can't take on. Oh, wait, actually, no, we've got extra range now, haven't we? Probably not enough to match the archers. The range is 150. I was 144. Okay, so it's not too much of a gap anymore. But they've mainly just got spears. They have five units of swords and axes combined. Javelin, they've got not enough cavalry. Let's do it. We'll march at them. Making ready. Hold the right. Swords, claim the left. To battle! Advance. Give chase to them. Decide to settle. I'm going to do first, actually move up on the flanks. Awaiting orders. Cheer! Axeman! Yes! Now we move forward in the center. Ready. Don't hold back. 
cavalry round him from behind. Crossbows then ready to set up and fire. Go swords, go. them between cavalry and sword. Pull the crossbows back. Spears are suffering, but that's fine. Men have been routed. They are leaving the field. Down they go. They're in the settlement, so we don't need to chase them down. Lovely.
Boom. The men are eager to get to it. None shall stand against Although, they, they can move in with their forces here. Nine, five, nine. Never. Not possible. We will not fail you. Might want to sit outside so that we can retreat back. They'll fall before us. Again, because otherwise we'll be trapped in the settlement. That a way of withdrawing. Now I've moved all these guys past. I should have kept this one close by, actually. Right, let's end the turn again. And then we'll wrap things up for now. I'd be very surprised if Daniel don't move back to Gyrum. At least from here we can rip, hopefully, um, retreat. I think they're coming in for an attack. It draws them all to shore. Can actually fight. Order Resolve says we'll win. Let me know your... Oh, there's a lot of archers. Let me know your thoughts. Should we stand and fight or should we pull back and then smash them next turn with our other forces? Let me know down in the comment section below. We'll pick things up from here next episode. Until then, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter, Tech Prime, join the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors, Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Until the next one, ciao for now.